Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Simply Colorful Fibercast. Today's date is July 6th, 2018. My name is Lynn Marquedon, and I'm your host. Welcome, and happy Independence Day, and happy whatever day. It's Friday, and we get to sew. Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. Today, we are going to recap what happened in, in, a couple of days ago here in the States, talk about red, white, and blue quilts. You see my Quilt Smart quilt right here. I'll tell you where to find that pattern. Then we're going to make some Dear Jane blocks, hopefully two, I said blocks, because I have prepared. And we're going to look at some, what else we're we gonna do? I guess look at our Dear Jane, talk Dear Jane, and that's about it. So hopefully we get to two of them. So grab a project and come play with me. It's amazing what we can get done in 60 minutes or less. <laughs> okay, so the quilt block we're making today is D12 called Crossed Swords. D12, as everyone knows, Dear Jane back in 1863 made this quilt and she and Brenda Papadakis has replicated the patterns that are available via the book and on software. And they label them uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and then they go across 13. So it's A, and that's how you know which block is which. This one, for example, is A1. This one down here, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. This is M1. And then this would be M13. I think it goes up to 13. So, Today, again, we're doing D12. Let's see what that looks like in her quilt. I'm doing a beachy theme, and I started it in 2012. That is what it's going to look like, crossed swords. And I thought, in honor of Independence Day and fireworks and celebrating our nation's freedom, that we would try to change that block into a firecracker block or a firework block. So I cut out my pieces. I use the software. This is what it will look like, and I know you can't see that. It also, I, I printed out the templates, and the swords, which are going to become our firework, are going to be this white. This blue is going to go on either side. And then I've got this really dark... Oh, and then there will be white stripes in between. And then I have this really dark blue that I'm hoping if we put at the top of each firework, it'll make it come forward and it'll look like it's booming. Sort of. I mean, there won't be a lot of shading, but we can play with it. We can try. I wish I had Wendy here from Down Under. She is a marvel with color and paints, and she, would, she could advise us. Um... Let's see. So I've got my machine sewn on. As always, send pictures, send send notes to Lynn at simplycolorful.com. And if you haven't subscribed, please do on YouTube. And I want to thank my patrons. I could not do this without your support. Thank you. Okay, so first off, I'm going to sew. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to line everything up so that we know it all fits. This white is so hard to see, you know, the right side or the wrong side. Okay, there's that. There's that. I am sure that when I'm done, I will have some wrong sides of fabric showing, but that's okay. And then these, I've already turned under. Somehow those will go 
on the points. See that? Hopefully you can see it. And if you have your Dear Jane block, I know Annie out, out west has started it. And you can follow along. You can even make that block, D12. Okay, I'm going to reduce this a little bit to 2.2 stitches. I don't have to have it as small as if I were doing paper piecing. And then I'm just going to start making my corners. chain piece it. You know, Dear Jane would be a whole lot easier if someone would come and prepare it to this point. Oh, let's go over here. I'm ironing toward the dark. Say, oh, she said she's got an early night. Jean does. She's cozy in her bed watching Fibercast, and she's working. Oh, she's hand sewing Dresden plates for a client. They were pieced by her grandmother, and she's got four down, twenty-five to go. Oh, that's perfect, Jean. And I hope it's nice and cool in your room. Oh, look at that. And knowing you, the stitches are perfect. Oh, thanks for sending that in. That's beautiful. Wow. Just gorgeous. Well, happy Friday. I never did go fabric shopping today. Oh, and this could be very problematic if I don't do this right. I may have done a wrong, wrong thing, but that's okay. I need the corner to be straight here. And then there, that needs to be straight. This one straight, straight, okay. That one straight, straight. This one not straight, so we'll just take this out. It wouldn't be fiber cast if we didn't rip something out, right? <sighs> Doo -doo -doo. Here we go. I've made a dent in cleaning up this place since I've been home. We came home yesterday. <coughs> I hope you all had a nice fourth. We did. 
It's been very hot on the East Coast this week, but we're promised some cool air coming in about now for the weekend, so that's nice. I don't know if you saw on Facebook, some of you may have, I posted a picture of Bob and me from our tent. Remember last week I was telling you I had given my mother a beach tent for her birthday, but in actuality it was because I wanted to a beach tent. And Bob and I used it three, at least three days. And it was really lovely. I do recommend it. Neither of us got burnt except for we the way that you set up the tent, you you it's like a it's like a lean to and you put your beach chairs in it and your feet stick out and if you don't move it or put a blanket over your feet. Your feet, the tops of them can get burnt. But other than that, it's easier to set up. I was telling my mother, hi mom, if you're there, it's really easier to set up than a beach umbrella. You just pop it open. same time. Oh, KB. KB says cool air is coming your way. It's lovely here. KB's in Pennsylvania. So that means Maureen and Sherry and everyone out towards Pennsylvania way are feeling hopefully cooler. Oh, Lynn, the Dear Jane blocks are looking great. Thank you, KB. I am, I'm really getting ready to finish it. Did you see Sue? Has she up to J? I think I forget. She'll tell us. Oh, and Jean. What did Jean say here? Jean sent another picture. Probably some. Oh, she says I need to consult with your machine quilting division about this vintage beauty. You have to see this. How's that for a vintage? What are we going to do on that? Do you know what just occurred to me? I don't have any of my lights on here in the studio. Hold that thought. I need you to see me. Maybe. Maybe you can already. Hey, TG Bob! Hi! Thanks. Do you like the flag? You can have it. I'll send it to you. No, I won't. I'll, I'll bring it to you next time I see you. Hi! I'm Now... This is good pod. I'm leaving to go turn on the lights, but I'll be back. So you can still hear me. Tell me if this makes a difference. There we go. Ta-da! Better or worse? Okay. Well, I can see better to sew with. And Jean, I will definitely love to think about this. I love how some of them aren't quite the same. Did you notice that? Is that by design or accident? Like that one right there? That's so fascinating. Thank you for sharing that. And the one above it. Wow. Love it. Aw, TG Bob. Oh, he says better. Thank you. I'm psyched that you're out there. We should talk hockey. They're not playing hockey anymore, though, are they? TG Bob is my brother-in-law, and he's also out in cool PA right now, I think. Okay, 
so I'm string piecing these, right? And I have to go back to my first one that I just fixed. And let's give it a good iron. Pressing toward the dark. Okay, and now I'm going to put this one back on the right way. Oh, we're definitely going to get two blocks done tonight. After I iron these, I'm going to check and see who's out there. Hmm. And we want, see, that's good. I want these points to show. I don't want them to get clipped off when we're when we put these this square together. So let me, this one, no, nope, that'll work. Should work. Oops. Uh oh. Okay. Two. Do this one. Oh, this one needs to be a little bit close. See, there isn't enough up there for seam allowance. So I am going to nudge that over just a skosh. that'll be okay. Not perfect, but just fine. How's that? Hey, KB and TG, check out my shirt. You gave that to me a few years ago. I found it in my closet. Okay, now what I'm going to do, let me see if this and this. And that and that. Okay. So these all go away. I don't know what those were there for. See how it's coming together? And then Imagine if you will those in the corner. It might work. It will work. Who's out there? Send me email to Lynn at simplycolorful.com and to each other on the Facebook page and say hi to each other. Oh, this was funny. So speaking of red, white, and blue, I want to look at a few quilts too, which we will after I see who's out there. But I wanted to show you this. I looked out front when I was preparing for today's show and I looked in our driveway and check out the color of cars that are in our driveway and the trash or the recycling bin across the street. Can you see? You couldn't plan that. It's red, white, and blue. So even down in our driveway, people are being patriotic. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Okay. So. Oh, and it poured here today. Ready? Can you see that? That's water coming off the roof. That's it. <laughs> that's not why you tuned in is it let's look at let's see who's out there and then we'll look at some red white and blue quilts wendy speaking of wendy down under wendy says hello my dear friend lynn i will feel 
I like I've been on another planet and I haven't had a chance to sit and watch you on Fibercast for such a long time. Well, if you're out there and live, hello. I know you've been busy with all of your family and your your art business. So welcome. Um, needless to say, she says, I haven't stitched a stitch in forever or even had much time to even paint. Oh, however, I now have some work in a gallery, so that's a miracle. That is wonderful. Seriously, here is inspiration for everyone out there. If you have a passion, if you are making art, you can put it somewhere and sell it. I promise you, there is a place for it to be. So anyone who can, anyone who's out there, go for it. Wendy has, she's now in a gallery. That is just great. In fact, let me know. Love from Wendy down under, that's awesome. Wendy has, I believe, an art page on Facebook. Is it Wen Art? W-E-N-A-R-T? I'll post it on the Simply Colorful Facebook page. Check out what she's doing. And or, Wendy, feel free to post it. Um, Anyway, that is great that you're in a gallery. I'm so proud. She says, Lynn, I hope you and your family and all the other fiber casters out there have a wonderful and relaxing weekend. Love from Wendy Down Under. Yay. Right back at you. Carol over in the UK. So where it's not Saturday morning, but it's still s Friday night. Carol says, hi, Lynn and all fiber casters. We have had glorious weather this week here in the UK. Oh. She says, I have a week of work now and plan to practice with my new sewing machine and quilt frame. Oh, you must have a week off of work. Oh, it is the nearest I will ever get to owning a long arm. It is practically a long arm. I have had a little to play. Boy, is it easier than crawling on the floor to pin a quilt. Amen. She sends us a picture. Oh, look at that. Isn't that great? And her machine moves along those rollers. That is wonderful, Carol. And I love your balloon quilt that's on that. She says, but, or she says, there probably won't be much sewing done tomorrow as England play their quarterfinal game. And my frame is as far, is at the far end of the living room. Oh, no. Good luck. Looking forward to the new brown bag mystery. When does it start? Wonderful. It's going to start at the end of or the beginning of September, very beginning. I'm so glad you're going to play. So for anyone out there, we are doing another brown bag mystery through Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash simply colorful and you'll, you'll learn about it in the coming weeks. Oh, that's excellent. Attaching a photo of my frame setup. Plan for the week. I love it. Also over in the UK, Carol Bell. Carol says, our prolific, one of our more prolific quilters, she says, I hope you've had a good week, Lynn and fiber casters. She says, the weather continues to be lovely and sunny over here. A little too hot for me and too dry for the garden, but far better than rain. Yes. She says, I have managed to get another of my layered quilts quilted this week and am now working on the binding. She says, that sounds so productive, but I started making this quilt for my daughter to give us a Christmas gift. Missed last Christmas, but it will be ready for this one. I love it. Yours, Carol, in Yorkshire, England. Look at that. Lovely. Happy Christmas. Love it. And you do what I do. You pin a little bit at a time. You know what I did discover, by the way? I wanted to thank my sister and Debbie and Chris Myers and everyone who's given me these periodically. These wonder clips, I'm now a convert. I really like using them when I do my binding. You just, instead of instead of pinning it, you just turn it under your clip. If you have pins, they work too well, too, too well. Oh, I'm so glad you're all out there. I love your piano keys. Love it. Carol, hello, Carol. Carol says, what a fun block. Looking forward to see how it turns out. Thank you, Carol. I think we best get back to it. I'll check back in in a minute because we have, I think we're going to try and make two blocks. Have I lost one of our corners? 
Actually, this block would be cool done in all different ways, Carol, wouldn't it? Okay, so now I'm going to sew my two sides here. And then I'll sew that center piece in. This is where it might get a little tricky because we want our points to match up or not get cut off. Okay, so there, nope, that's not right. There and there. Okay, and there and there. And sometimes I just think too hard and I shouldn't think it and I should just follow the lines and it usually comes out too. Because once you start fudging one little thing, then everything has to be fudged and it's, it really becomes like ganache. <laughs> Do you want me to say it again? That was pretty darn funny, if I do say so. Oh, see, that's not looking great. That's looking a little bit fanish, but we're going to keep going. That's looking a little bit straighter, but still not ideal. Did you really get that? That was kind of funny. If you fudge it, if you once you fudge one thing, then you have to fudge a second time and a third time and you're fudging all over the place and before you know it you have ganache. <laughs> oh, this is just that's for TG Bob. So he'll tune in again. <laughs> okay, so I'm finger pressing this. And this A lot of seams are coming here in the middle, that's for sure. Okay, so there are the two pieces. Now let's put them together. I'm going to turn it over. Okay. All right. So here's one. So we didn't cut those points off. They're not perfect, but we didn't cut them off, so we're gonna leave them like that. This is a block I could definitely see practicing on. Needing some practice, but. Oh, I'm gonna turn it over this way so I can see where the points are. And there we go. 
Hey, hey. Okay. So see how it's wonky on the end? That means I didn't do something quite right. But I'm going to press it now. And this time I'm going to press both sides to the center. That seems to be where they want to go. And we have so many seams here. Okay, so there's that. Now, this next part, I'm going to baste in now, and then this is what I will take down to in front of the TV next week when Bob and I are watching TV. He will, I can do this. Go in there. Oh, I can't wait to see who else is out there. See how so I've I just hand basted it. In fact, you know what I can do? Well, no, I need this. I was gonna say. I have to take into account the quarter inch seam here. So when I put this in, I need to make a quarter inch seam. Does that make sense? So, let me see if I can pin it and show you the difference. Of what I was, what I did, and then what I should have done. Okay. When I first started this, I was just taking my dark blue and I was putting up, it up so that at the very point I was seeing dark blue at the very point of the white. But the problem is that if I had kept it that way, and if I had gone and sewn something on it, like a border, it would have cut off the point. See how that point's cut off? So instead, what I have to do is move it up there so that there is a quarter of an inch seam right there and right there. So that now when I go to put on my seam, it'll preserve the point. So, easy to fix. Glad I saw it. Because it's these little details on Dear Jane that I think are kind of cool. And I would say, if anything, err on putting this in too far. Maybe even three eighths of an inch or a, a skosh in between a quarter and an eighth. There, and I'm just pinning it for now. Not even gonna baste it to save us time. There is D nine d12 d12 and let's write in it before we forget so today's date is seven six eighteen happy birthday roxanne it's a big one okay um made this block on fiber cast England is playing in the quarterfinals of the World Cup tomorrow. Daryl will be watching. 
Carol and many of us and many more. And let's all say a wish that the soccer players over in Thailand in the cave get out in time to go to Moscow to the finals. I know that that is a, a tall order, but we can, we can hope the soccer team in the cave in Thailand is out in time to accept the invitation to World Cup final in Moscow. Just terrible. Okay, let's move on to D. Let's see. Which one are we going to do? Ah, D13, Field of Dreams. I don't think it could get any easier. So that one we just finished almost. This one is a paper piecing that we have done. We can do this in our sleep, right? We do this all the time in our mystery quilts. In that brown bag mystery quilt from two years ago, we sure made a lot of these. Remember that? Man, there were some beauties you all made. Okay, so, and I'm going to use this for the center, my white. And then isn't that a pretty blue for the corners? But before we get started, let's see who else is out there. Anne, speaking of the UK, Anne says, hello, Lynn and all the fiber casters. This is the second week I've made your show live. As you know, I'm working on the Splendid Sampler 2 and enjoying the process so much I just started a second, so using even more of the stash, LOL. That is great. You know, I think that's a great idea because you learn, part of it is you've learned how to do it. Like each of these squares, once you learn how to do one, the second one's much faster. That's cool. She says, it's become extremely warm here. It was 25 centigrade in my car this afternoon, and even now at 1 a.m. I'm roasting. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I... Uh, she says, I hope everyone had a lovely 4th of July. My daughter and granddaughter are both doing well, and Taya is thriving. I've enclosed a picture of my 8-year-old grandson having his first cuddles with his baby cousin. Doesn't he look proud? Take care and have a fabulous weekend. Love and quilty hugs, Anne in Guernsey. Look at that. Cousins are wonderful. Aww. She's so precious and petite. Oh, oh, and he does look so proud. That is wonderful. Sue, hi. Oh, I love this. Look at this. She finished Jay. I knew you'd send us that. Thank you. Look at, I love your colors. See, I, maybe I need to branch out a little more. You're using more than one color in each block, and I like it a lot. Okay, she said, Sue reports. Yep, row J is done. Ah, oh, I attached it to the mother quilt Thursday, but have not had time to take a picture of it yet. That's just fine. Maybe tomorrow. Here it is by itself. Look how happy I am, and Izzy, of course, photobombing as usual. Hope we get cooler weather soon. It has been horribly humid the last few weeks, but it was a glorious 75 today. Oh, good. I'm hoping send that weather this way. Oh, that's wonderful. You're my inspiration. Sue. Hi, Sue. She says, hello. It's been a while. I've been under the weather for a few weeks. Thanks for being here to watch. Oh, Sue. Yes. And she titles it Flag. I'm glad you're out there. You have my maiden last name. I think I've told you that, right? I used to be a Bryant, so we must be related somehow. I hope that you're getting the rest you need, the fluids. Um, just give it time. And you reminded me on this flag here, I wanted to share with everyone a link. If you ha have any interest in making this, it's quite fun. And it is from Quilt Smart, Q 
Q-U-I-L-T-S-M-A-R-T.com. And it's called Old Glory Waves. You can buy it in two, two ways. You can buy it as a smart pack, and you can make two of them. Or you can buy just additional interfacing. The pack, so you can make two of them, is $16.95. If you want just the interfacing, it looked, I think it was four, four ninety-five. Let's see if I can go back here. Yep, uh, four twenty-five. So you can buy. This will be really hard to see, but basically, this is what you're buying. You're buying interfacing that's already been printed with the paper piecing instructions, and then you just take your pieces and you sew onto it. It's really quite fun. So that's that. Sue, feel better. Thanks for reminding me. Annie, hello, Annie. Speaking of prolific quilters, she says, hi, everybody. She says, your blocks are looking great. Thank you. She says, I got the part for my machine, so I've not been piecing much this week. I basted four quilts for quilting this week. That's good. The cat knocked my PC off the shelf and broke it, and I have not figured out how to send pics from my tablet. Oh, for handwork tonight, I dug a UFO out of the UFO tub, a Baltimore album applique I started 25 years ago. Anyway, glad to see you tonight. Oh, I can't wait to see a picture of that. You are amazing between your Dear Jane, your Hexies, and your Baltimore album. You know when you're on your tablet? I'm going to show you, I think, how to add a picture. Let's say you've got all of your email here and you go over here to compose. So we're making a new message. Here it's a blank slate. I'm assuming it's an apple. I don't know, and maybe it won't work. But to add a picture, touch the body. Oh, whoops. First you have to put in someone. So let's say you want to send it to me, Lynn at simplycolorful.com. And then this will be a test, right? Here is a picture. Okay, so I've got filled out two and I've given a title. Take your finger and hold it here. And then all these choices come up and one of them will be insert picture. Insert photo or video. And then it pulls up the photos on your phone or your iPad. And then you click, you add one, you add it and you go. Maybe that'll help. I'm so glad you're out there. And I'm glad you found the part. I'm deleting this draft. That's wonderful. Hey, Becca. Becca, who is now back down home after a long time in New York, she says, hey, a finish for Fibercast. I finished my stitch along piece that I've been cross stitching since January. I'm thinking of turning it into a wall hanging or bell pull. Yippee. Becca in Columbus, Georgia. That is stunning. And it's so long, a bell pull would be really pretty beside, beside your door. Check this out. That's lovely. That's, Fibercast is about more than quilting, isn't it? I forget that because I've been so into quilting. But I love using the colors and the fibers to create that. Thank you for sharing, Becca. Aww. Aww, Sandra. Sandra says, hi, Lynn and everyone. Fudge. I love it. Too funny. Thank you. I'm here just watching you work from my recliner with my feet propped up eating chocolate dove candy. That's perfect. That sounds delightful, she says. She goes on to say, I've been working on the Splendid Sampler 2. I'm already behind. It's not a race, right? Nope, it's not. Enjoying your dear Jane blocks. Have a great weekend. Hugs from Sandra in sweltering Mississippi. Hugs right back to you. Thanks for writing. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, Patty's Gmail. 
She says, hi, Patty. I say, hi, Patty, right back at you. She says, hi, Lynn. It's Patty from Texas. I'm watching Fibercast while eating s'mores in PA. Dove chocolate in Mississippi, s'mores in PA, probably a barbecue in Pennsylvania. I'm jelly. She says, I just can't retrain my family that I need to quilt on a Friday Eve. That's funny. This week I'm watching my granddaughter and working on my travel quilt hexes. Oh, that's great. I'll be back in Texas by your next visit. Hope to catch you then. Then I will be making string blocks to go in a circle magic denim quilt. Ooh, I can't wait to see that. A circle magic denim quilt. She says, I'm still working out my UFO and WIP too. Unfinished object, work in progress. UFO, WIP. She says, have a great summer, Patty. Thank you, Patty. You too. Thank you so much for being out there. I love it. Let's make another block. Let's see. We do have time. We can do this. D13, Field of Dreams. Go to your Dear Jane software and print out a copy. Joyce, if you're out there, I definitely want to get you some copies of these Dear Jane block instructions. If you want them, I hope you do. Or so okay. I've often wondered how that works if I guess I have to be careful about that. I guess maybe oh, paper piecing 101, turn it on the other side. Can you really do that? Can I print out a paper pattern from my Dear Jane software and give it to a friend? I can't give every pattern. I bet I can't do that, can I? There's one thing I've learned. Let's not do it. Better safe than sorry. Okay. I need to go down on 1.8. Let's sew this again. Okay. And this has us going right around in a circle. I have a lot of extra on this one. See, see how much I have in the back? So before I go any further, I'm going to fold this back and cut off my excess. Okay. So again, lots of excess. There we go. One more. And then we have to look at some red, white, and blue quilts. See all that extra? I'm going to cut that right off.
There we go. This might be my fastest Dear Jane block ever. And then I'm just going to turn it over here. And just trim it up while the look at all that excess. Oh, welcome to our new folks who joined the Simply Colorful Mystery Quilt Along. Thank you for doing that. The next mystery will be Patreon only, so we won't post the files there. Um, and the way that brown bag mystery works is you get a piece of fabric in a brown bag, and then we make a mystery quilt using that. And there we go. There's another one, D13. We're going to say here, yeah, we don't want to use that. It's also July uh, 6th, 2018, second block of two nights fiber cast. Very fast to make. Oh, that's, that reminds me, I didn't put a piece of the fabric on there. I didn't do that on our other one either, did I? So here's a little piece of fabric. Oh, you can't see. So I put it right there. Okay. That's two blocks today. Go back to, oh, it's right above. Duh, that was good. Here is another one, and then we'll look at our quilts. There we go. There's the fabric from the other one. They're kind of similar, aren't they? Ha! That's okay. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's a more. Okay, so I put both pieces of fabric and our notes on Dear Jane. Let's take a quick look, before we all say goodnight, let's take a quick look at some red and white quilts. I went into Pinterest. Just like any of us can do. So if you happen to be at home and you wanna just peruse, type in, Red and what red, white, and blue quilts in Pinterest. Remember years ago, KB, you told me about Pinterest? We have come so far. I think we didn't even know what a Pinterest was, right? That's pretty. Mm. Pinterest didn't even exist, right? There's a more modern one. That'd be much easier to do. What's at the end there? Aw, Paddington the bear. Aw, look at that. There's Paddington. Oh. So we'll just keep scrolling. Again, go to Pinterest. You can create your own account. Maybe you can be there as a guest. I'm not sure. Sometimes you'll click into something else. Like this one went into Independence Quilt. Um, Quilter's Cash. Look at that. You can get all those patterns. So many wonderful patterns online. Quilter's Cash, C-A-C-H-E. Oh, my goodness. 
and then look at that. Once you click on one you like, then scroll down. So we clicked on that one. Ooh, that's nice, right? Well, then you scroll down and someone has already created a bunch of similar pins like that one. And really, it goes on and on and on. I must say, we are very lucky to live in the day and age that we're living in. So thank you for joining me. Thank you to the makers of technology that have allowed us to do this. Um, that's really cool. So Pinterest, red and white, and red, white, and blue quilts. So I think we have made, I think we're going to wrap it up. These are two more blocks to add to the Dear Jane. Who knows, I may be doing Dear Jane next week too. I'm on a roll. I'm on a bit of a roll. So I want to keep that momentum. And again, brown bag mystery quilt. I'll tell you more about it in the coming weeks, but get ready. That's going to be fun. And stay cool. Stay cool, have some fun, have some watermelon. It's really good, the watermelon right now. Thanks again. I don't want to say goodbye, but I don't have any more to say. Isn't that funny? I'm just so glad you're all out there. Have a great weekend, everyone.